Top 5 Philippines Mythical Creatures Part 2 Number 1 Mangkukulam The Mangkukulam is not one of the Filipino mythical creatures. Instead, they are the witch doctors known to practice either evil magic or good magic. The problem is, there's no way to tell the difference. Be warned if you owe someone, this witch doctor or Mangkukulam will be the one to collect your debt or utang. While most Filipinos will tell you that they don't believe in the Mangkukulam, some strange practices still prevail. For example, passengers will always buy food from the same food stalls as bus drivers when traveling by bus. That's because bus drivers know which places to avoid, areas that are supposedly cursed by the local Mangkukula. The next time you find yourself traveling on a bus across the Philippines, do as the locals do and take the bus driver's lead when buying food and snacks. Number 2. Duende Filipino mythical creatures also have the duende, the local equivalent of dwarves. But unlike in Snow White, they're a lot more fickle, playing nasty tricks on the people they don't like and showering gifts on those that they do like. Beware the cheeky little duende. They love to play and fool you. Beware of the duende's gifts. Even among Filipino monsters, they are notorious for being very jealous and quite vicious in their anger. They are known to suddenly go from being extravagantly generous to become mean and spiteful all in a split second. Number 3. Diwata or Fairy The Diwata in Filipino mythical creatures is a pre-Spanish colonial mythology, a dried-like spirit that is surprisingly similar to fairy legends of other countries. Much like famous fairy legends, the Diwata can take on beautiful and attractive human forms and often invite people to go back to where they live and never be seen again in the outside world. Don't be lured to the Diwata's beauty, you might not come back in the real world. The similarities between Diwata and fairies, also known as Encantada or Silly, between so many different cultures suggests that there might be more truth to these creatures than we care to admit. Number 4. Aswang The Aswang is the queen bee of Filipino monsters because of how powerful it is. It has evil, shape-shifting power similar to that of Dracula himself, and it thrives in eating human flesh both raw and cooked. Be careful in going home at midnight the aswang may be behind you. If that's the case, then run for your life. The danger of living in the same village as an aswang is that they appear perfectly ordinary during the day and can easily invite you over for a meal secretly feeding you human flesh. On the other hand, the advantage of living with an aswang is that they will never hunt within their village to avoid suspicion. Number 5. Mananangal The Mananangal, often confused with the Wakwak and the Aswang, mostly because they all feed on human flesh, is one of the most popular Filipino mythical creatures globally. After all, it's not easy to forget a monster that severs its own body in half, leaving the lower half behind as the upper torso sprouts wings and flies off to prey on newborn infants. When you hear a noise, scratch on your rooftop in the middle of the night, and someone is pregnant, yes, you're right that's the work of the Mananangal. The secret to defeating the Mananangal is effortless in theory and incredibly difficult in practice. All you have to do is sprinkle salt on the lower torso the creature has left behind but you have to find it first. Please, support my YouTube channel, for more videos to upload. If you like my videos, please, leave your like, comment share and subscribe, and click the notification bell to update you, every time I upload. Thank you very much.